I'm sure you're keen to learn as much as you can about the IELTS academic writing test. So, I'll now go through some important facts about the exam. The IELTS academic writing test takes 60 minutes and you need to complete two tasks in this time. The two tasks are not linked in terms of topic. In other words, they will be about different things. There's a lot to do in 60 minutes and it's a good idea if you can organise your time like this. In task one, you need to write at least 150 words and we usually recommend that you finish in 20 minutes. In task two, you need to write at least 250 words and you should plan to finish in 40 minutes. Let's look at the two tasks in more detail. OK, so what can you expect in task one of the IELTS academic writing test? You will receive some information in visual form. This information could be in the form of a graph, a table, a diagram, or even a map. You will also receive a statement explaining what the visual represents, or what it shows in other words. Then, you need to summarise the information in the visual, and it's important that you write this summary in your own words. So, how can you do well in task one? In order to do a good job, you need to be able to do the following things. Select, organise and compare information. You may need to be able to describe the stages of a process, or describe an object or place, or perhaps you will need to explain how something works. You'll do this using the information you can see in the visual. Throughout the rest of the writing module of the IELTS academic course, you will have an opportunity to practice these skills. So, what about task two? In this task, you're given a point of view, an issue or a problem, and it will be written in the form of a question or statement. For this task, you are required to write an academic essay. And, as in task one, you must write it in your own words. So, how are you going to organise your essay and what do you need to include? You need to read the question carefully and decide what the question is asking you to do. You may need to present and support an opinion or present the solution to a problem. The question may ask you to compare and contrast evidence and opinions or evaluate and challenge ideas, evidence or opinions. You'll have the opportunity to practice skills for task two throughout this module. But before we start to practice these skills, let's take a look at how you will be assessed in the IELTS academic writing test. For both task one and task two, you will be assessed in four main areas. The first one is cohesion and coherence. Now this means your ability to write a clear and organised answer that is easy for the reader to follow and understand. And you'll need to organise your response into paragraphs. The second area is lexical resource or vocabulary. You'll be assessed on your ability to use a range of vocabulary and expressions accurately and appropriately. And next, you'll be assessed on your grammatical range and accuracy. This is your ability to use a range of grammar structures accurately and appropriately. There's one more important area on which you'll be assessed, and that is your ability to answer the question, because each writing task requires a different type of written response, and they're marked slightly differently. Task one is a description of a visual, so you'll be marked on task achievement, 
or how appropriately, accurately, and relevantly you complete the task using at least 150 words. In task two, on the other hand, you need to write an academic essay. So you'll be marked on your task response. Here, the examiner will be looking to see how well you can make and develop your position or argument and how you support it with evidence and examples. To complete the task using at least 250 words. So, what happens to your test when you've finished? Well, it's marked by an examiner using the assessment criteria. You'll then receive an IELTS band score for writing. For example, six or seven. It's also possible to be given a half band score, such as 5.5 or 6.5. By the way, students sometimes ask me if they have to write in pen or pencil. Well, the answer is it doesn't matter. You can use pen or pencil.